There's a very interesting thing happened just yesterday. The BBC came up with a new digital homepage, BBC. What's incredible is the entire homepage is video based. Everything is video accessed. Now, that means that in two years, the BBC have moved from text-based homepage page, to a, a homepage that was mostly text, a little bit of video, to all video. So the opportunity for a generation, this generation of filmmakers coming out, is to move into a world where every single piece of text will be illustrated with some audiovisual equivalent. Now that's a phenomenal, it's an employment opportunity, it's an influence opportunity, it, it opens up a whole world. And I'm not sure, you're, I'm not sure the film schools have really got their heads around the nature of that opportunity and what it might mean. So who will be the filmmakers of the future? They won't be like the filmmakers of the past. They'll be different kind of people with a different ambition, addressing a different audience in different ways. That's a lot of differences. Uh, and it takes quite a radical school to embrace that. I think that one of the biggest challenges for filmmakers now is uh, how to aggregate their communities. And, um, you know, look, in the United States, we don't have any film subsidies. And one of the things that that forces us to do is really deal directly with our audiences in a way that I think European filmmakers don't necessarily have to do. Uh, but maybe now, in order to keep making movies and keep making the kind of movies they want to make, maybe you should start trying to think about doing. Uh, I think having a, a direct relationship with the audience is a really, um, it's really a extraordinary and gratifying thing for a filmmaker. But I also think uh, uh, that um, building community, whether it's through crowdfunding, uh, social media, uh, it's a way of, um, of basically identifying the people who are interested in your work.